हेलो आई एम हार्दिक पटेल वेलकम बैक टू आरोटेक चैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू चेक द स्टेटस ऑफ टास्क सो वी इंटीग्रेटेड वन एक्सटेंशन कॉल जेंगो सिलरी रिजल्ट विच वॉज एबल टू स्टोर द स्टेटस ऑन द रियल टाइम एंड यू आर एबल टू रिट्रीव द स्टेटस राइट सो दैट वॉट दैट इज वॉट वी डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन सेट any task as periodic task okay so we are going to write one more task here and we are going to set that task every 15 minute every 15 seconds it should be executed so basically you can set the task every day every month every monday something like that okay so let's go and integrate that so the extension called django celery bit similar to django celery Results. Okay, so first we will in install that using pip install Django Celery Bay. So it is yet installed in my Celery demo virtual environment. So it is not going to download and install again. But yes, whenever you going to hit this command, this package will be installed in your virtual environment or any default environment. Okay, now similar. similar to django celery results we are going to add this app into our installed apps here okay so django celery bait okay all right now this is added and what we are going to do we are going to migrate all the migrations available in django celery bait application okay so yeah python manage.py and then migrate so which will install all the requirements in the database so let's see what are the tables are added in our database using that inspect db command okay yeah so this was earlier created by django celery results app and now there are six tables were created using jingo celery bait this is first second third right so there are so many as you can see from here down to here okay so all the tables have different purposes they are storing different information in those databases and tables and we are we are going to use them as well so yeah so package install and now we are going to write one task so let's code the project in visual studio code we are just going to go to the task and i am just adding one task called if and send email so what i want to do every 15 seconds mail should be sent okay so let's put one argument here and i am just adding one print statement here so we can understand that it is called so a sample message is sent to email okay so whatever email we are going to pass as argument this message will be printed here in the worker script okay now i am just storing this and uh, saving this now we need to do one thing specific for setting this task as a periodic task so i am just going in the celery.py here and uh, before this auto discovery task or after that you can add thing one thing that is called f dot conf sorry yeah dot schedule sorry bit okay this is just a uh, dictionary we are going to set here and first we need to provide the name of that particular periodic task name that is i am just setting every 15 seconds okay this is just my key and inside that we need to set all the parameters like first parameter is task okay so you need to mention which task you are going to execute every 15 seconds okay so as we are using this in django 
we have apps right so apps are available in the whole django project so you can directly write like this notifications dot same way you are able to write this thing in urls right this notification dot urls in a single code as a string right the same way you can pass here notifications dot sorry dot task and then send email okay second argument is schedule so in schedule what you can do there are three ways of three or four ways available in this salary package first if you want to set periodical every 15 seconds every 10 seconds every 60 seconds then you can directly write here like 15 so it will execute that salary bit sends the signal every 15 seconds to execute this send email function okay so that's how you can schedule here so this is just a name for this particular task then this is the schedule so every 15 seconds will be executed there is another way of scheduling this task what you can do you can import salary then schedule import cron tab okay and then you can use cron tab here and you can pass the argument but as of now we are just setting this for every 15 seconds so i am putting here 15 then as we know this send email function takes one argument right so i can set here args and then like this and what is the argument for now i am just setting default email address and comma okay so as it is a tuple so i am just uh, putting one extra comma to make it understand okay so now our this send task send email function or you can say task is already set as a periodic task now how we can execute this so to execute this you need to run one more uh, one more script or you can say one more uh, yeah script as a daemon or something like that similar to this worker okay so i am going to add one more terminal actually we don't need terminal because we are not going to write any cell as of now so yeah so in one one uh, terminal we are going to run a worker like this okay so what is happening unable to load salary application salary dot schedule was not found okay so what is the mistake okay sorry yeah so it's a schedules you can find that what is the package name but for now yeah one more thing i just mistaken that is beat schedule i just reversed that name anyways uh, this is uh, set now and let's run again okay as you can see that send email function is also here uh, uh, discovered and now this worker is able to execute that function okay now let's go and run one more command here salary then capital a and the project name salary example and then we need to pass the command that is called bit okay and l and then info l is for log level and now as you can see all the configurations are written here so what is the db is used what is the log file right everything now it should be executing that task every 15 seconds so as you can see the send email function was called here and here also you will be able to see the log sending due task every 15 seconds okay so this is the name which is for display purpose so you can see here right and that is the path of the task so every 15 seconds it will be executed recursively so that's how you can set the periodic task here you can close it all right and yeah so that's it from this uh, video uh, actually i just wanted to explain how we can set up the periodic task also you can use the cron tab let me show you that as well so cron tab here but yeah so it will take time because i don't want to waste uh, time in this video uh, you will be able to uh, execute like this cron tab and then you can say minutes and you can say uh, like this star then 15 so it will execute this task every 15 minutes okay then you can set the hours 
then you can say uh, set the week of the day right so this is all together different uh, different uh, subject to understand so maybe you can uh, look at the some uh, available articles for that and there is also one more uh, scheduler available that is called sonar so basically it uh, works uh, using the solar system so sunset then sunrise you can also provide the uh, uh, longitude and latitude so at at that particular location when the sunset happens at that time the task could be executed so same so th similar to this uh, you can uh, also add the task here right so that's how you can set the periodic task in this very package so basically it's a very powerful system and you can use it okay so that's it from this video and yeah see you soon in the next video